Splatfast is here and we're all trying to do our best to get our team to win as there can only be one. And for that, painting is pretty important in both Turf War and Tricolor Turf War. Hey there everyone, it's Haz here and let's take a look at some of the best weapons to paint Turf for Splatfest and in general for Splatoon 3, or at least in my opinion, but I'm curious whether you agree or disagree, let me know. The first weapon is the new weapon type for Splatoon 3, the Stringer, more precisely the Reflux 450, which is a shorter range but really fast charging and shooting subversion of the weapon type. It's not a secret I've been a massive fan of this weapon ever since release, it's just an absolute beast. It surpasses even the best painters of Splatoon 2, and in good hands it has some excellent splitting potential. For painting, its quick tap firing I think is unmatched in the whole game on how much turf it can paint in no time, but if you get close to your opponents it also acts as somewhat shotgun type bow. For mid-range a well-aimed charge attack will split anyone as long as you hit with 3 arrows, but that requires some practice. On top of all this, it rocks the Tentum missiles and even though they have been changed they are still very much powerful and you can charge them in no time if you're using charging speed abilities in your clothing. I think it's not even a question, the Reflux is the best painting weapon right now and if you haven't tried it, give it a go and see if you like its playstyle. My only tip is to start practicing its charge attack since that is the secret to unveil its full potential. Our second weapon a lot of you are already familiar with, it is the Arrow Spray. Well known for its reputation as the best painting weapon in Splatoon 2, and it's still a top contender in 3, though a bit behind the Reflux. The Arrow Spray, while having a short range and unreliable spread, is capable of extremely fast turf painting as well, and despite the hearsay that it's not good for PvP, I think with smart gameplay you can more than surprise your opponents. You just have to rely on your movement and flanking more versus ranged like other guns since the arrow spray still has an excellent kill time. It also has fizzy bomb for additional harassment which I think is the best sub weapon in the game if this was not enough. And its special is the new reef slider, one of my favorite new specials. Reef slider can result in some funny splats but on top of it all it's not a bad tool for painting at the same time so it's a brilliant addition to the already great kit for the arrow spray in my opinion. Aerospray is a relatively easy weapon to use as I said, it's more about your situational awareness rather than your aim with this gun, and if you master it, you can still very much be a menace. And for the third weapon I would recommend, this might be a bit controversial, but I was thinking hard, I would go for the mini Splatling. It might be just my bias for Splatlings, but the mini always had great mobility and painting, and with its new kit in Splatoon 3 I think it's a really good weapon for turf wars and unorganized online matches. Opposite of most splatlings, the mini is mid to short range splatling with very fast fire rate and charge rate, so it's much harder to surprise them and can contend for slayer role in the front lines. And as you can see in the footage, it has more than decent painting. The cream on the top for me is its special, the Ultra Stem, that is not very much liked by top players, but it's still a really nice tool to surprise your opponents while also having powerful painting ability wherever you go. I've seen more than enough matches turned around by the Ultra Stamp simply because a lot of people have no idea what to do against it, so might as well use that advantage against others, no? The Mini Splatling might require a bit of practice to really get everything out of it, especially since it's a charge weapon, but once you get a bit of experience, it can really shine. But those are my three weapons I recommend for Splatfest if you're interested in painting a lot of turf and get all the sweet cloud for your team and push them to victory. Though we all know, Team Grub is the best. Now I'm quite curious what you all think are the best weapons to paint turf for Splatfest or in Splatoon 3 in general. Do let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree and which weapons would you change in the list. I do have a lot of other Splatoon content on my channel so feel free to check that out as all support is very much appreciated. With that, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all the next time. Bye bye